How to get iMessage on Android iMessage is an extremely in-style messaging service that, like WhatsApp, lets customers change texts, pictures, movies, voice notes and extra. However, Android customers can't get in on the enjoyable, formally anyway. Why? Merely put, you possibly can't formally use iMessage on Android as a result of Apple's messaging service runs on a particular end-to-end encrypted system utilizing its personal devoted servers. And, as a result of the messages are encrypted, the messaging community is simply out there to gadgets that know easy methods to decrypt the messages. It ought to come as no shock that Apple, the identical firm that purchased out Darkish Sky and shuttered the Android counterpart, doesn't provide an iMessage app for Android customers, it needs the cool results and options to be unique to those who put money into an iPhone, iPad or Mac. That being mentioned, there's a solution to get across the end-to-end encryption, nevertheless it'll require a Mac and an app known as AirMessage. We define the method of utilizing iMessage on Android proper right here. Find out how to use iMessage on Android. When you can't merely obtain an iMessage app in your Android and message your Apple-based associates, there are many workaround apps out there. Nonetheless, these all require a Mac to be used, because the Mac works as a middleman between your Android and the end-to-end encrypted servers that Apple makes use of for iMessage. Meaning your messages are dispatched through the Android app, which then relays the message to iMessage in your Mac and sends it onto the recipient, and vice versa. The one catch. Your Mac must be powered on and related to the web to make use of the service. Arrange Air Message in your Mac. 1. Obtain the Air Message server for your Mac. 2. Open the Air Message app. 2. Should you run right into a safety drawback making an attempt to put in an app from an unidentified developer, head to System Preferences greater than Safety and Privateness and click on Open anyway. 3. Settle for entry prompts and also you'll see a welcome message seem on screen, pointing you in the direction of the icon within the menu bar the place the app lives. 5. Open system preferences greater than safety and privateness greater than privateness and choose accessibility from the checklist on the left. 6. Click on the lock icon within the bottom left to unlock your settings menu, you might be prompted to enter the password you utilize to log into your Mac for safety functions. 8. If operating Mac OS Mojave or later, choose Full Disk Entry within the left-hand menu and repeat Step 7. 9. Because the software program acts as a server, you'll have to disable your Mac sleep settings to ensure it's at all times on and able to ship slash obtain messages. 9. Go to System Preferences Greater Than Vitality Saver and Alter PC Sleep to by no means. Now that your Mac is able to cross alongside iMessage text, it's time to arrange your Android smartphone. Hyperlink your Android to the Air Message app. 1. Head to the Google Play retailer and set up the Air Message app. If all has gone to plan, it is best to see all of the iMessage threads out of your Mac. Check which you can ship a message by texting an iPhone. If the bubble is blue, it's an iMessage. You'll obtain incoming message notifications and the power to ship pictures and movies, similar to you'll on an iPhone. However, a number of the extra superior options, like voice notes and message animations, aren't out there. Arrange port forwarding to finish the expertise. This final part is optionally available, nevertheless it's vital if you wish to proceed utilizing our message whenever you're out and about as initially, it'll solely work when related to the identical Wi-Fi community as your Mac. To do this, you'll have to arrange port forwarding in your router, configuring your community to permit connections from the surface, i.e. your cell phone. The issue is that organizing port forwarding is completely different for just about each router available on the market, that means there's no single set of directions to observe. There are written directions on easy methods to do it on the AirMessage website, nevertheless it'll require a little bit of router-specific googling. 